See, and the roofing, it's different. I mean, I've struggled with this idea for a long time because, you know, like if we were selling soap or, or toothpaste or if we were selling uh, cleaning products that people use over and over, you know, they, they use them up in a week or two and, and they need it again. Uh, those are your regular customers that you use over and over. With the roof, they put on the roof, our guys put on the roof, they're happy, customer's happy. You know, we're done for that particular customer, for that particular roof, maybe for 30 years. Who knows? You know, so you would think, okay, well, that shuts the door of opportunity, that customer's done. But the loophole is, and that's the difference, is that they know people. They have friends. They have brothers. They have sisters. They have aunts and they have uncles. They have kids, children, grandmas, grandpas, neighbors, co-workers. They also may need a roof. So with that information right there means that you, as a sales rep, you need to serve your customers on a silver platter. Then go back after it's done and you need to identify to see if there's still a need maybe they have another house maybe they know someone that needs their help to far as a referral because if we do a good job which we're you know we're probably 95 percent happy rate right now um and some some of the some of the things that are not perfect a lot of times uh a lot of times it is the customer you know you they're they're asking for stuff that's just really out of this world out of the contract and sometimes you know we mess up but we do our best to make it right but anyways once you have a customer that's super happy with us you need to go back for sure Talk to them. Hey, check, you know, check their roof out. Talk to them for a minute and see who else they know that you can uh, help. That's huge. Take advantage of that. Follow up, follow up, follow up. So that's huge.